That's gotta be, that's gotta be Kazuha, right? Holy moly. She flexing the belay really hard. That drop though, holy moly. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yumo. How are you guys doing? Hopefully everyone is doing fine. And today, uh, we are continuing to check out some Le Seraphim. I have been so impressed by their debut track, Fearless, that I kind of just want to immediately dive right into their b-sides like it's crazy fearless is together with pose of luna my current like two favorite these are my two favorite songs at the moment that i listen to on the loop basically i can't get fearless out of my head it's such a good song it's so awesome and i'm also currently watching produce 48 up on my patreon links in the description um if you want to watch that along with me uh so i'm getting to know uh, Yunjin, Sakura and Chewon over there so that's kind of cool to see them back then in Produce 48 and now seeing them out here um, being successful idols so that's really cool contrast and yeah that's why we're checking out um, the full EP that they released today um, I saw that for The World's My Oyster which is I guess an intro um, there's a Fearless trailer so we're gonna watch that I, I suppose we're gonna hear the song, the intro in that. Um, for Fearless itself, we're gonna um, check the, what's it called again? Uh, Be Original um, Studio Tune Performance. And for the rest, uh, the rest, we're gonna check out um, the lyric videos. So yeah, with that being said, guys, if you wanna follow me along on my journey and wanna check out more of the Seraphim, there might also be some more Ice One related stuff in the future with me watching Produce 48 right now. Um, Give the channel a like and a sub, that supports me and you get the content. Is that a deal? That sounds like a deal to me. Let's swap over here where I don't have the scene prepared. Wonderful. Here it is. Let's go. I'm fearless. The Seraphim. It's an anagram, I think, right? Let's go. Fearless. Oh, they have a proper video for this. Okay. Hello, Chowan. Looking pretty as always in freaking explosion. You do you, girl. You do you. Someone's swinging violently. Flying. I don't know who that is. Just from those shots. Again, same disclaimer as with the fearless reaction. I won't talk about Karam. Uh, and so I don't get into any stuff with that because I'm not educated about the matter so yeah that's that these cars though my lord oh I love a good racetrack and then suddenly wow going going from a sports car oh my god I, I know what's about to happen I know that picture of Jawan uh going from a sports car to a cart like that I love that that outfit on Jawan dude bruh <laughs> I love that shot honestly Miss Kazua, right? She did ballet in Amsterdam, I think, or at least in like in the Netherlands. I heard about that. Dude, Sakura's eyes, man. There's something about them. Is that Yanjin, right? I still. That's the thing. I, f I have problems recognizing some of the members still. Oh, I love this trade, honestly. It's really cool. That's gotta be. That's gotta be Kazua, right? Holy moly. She flexing the ballet really hard. She is she spinning like a Beyblade, honestly. Dude, this video is such a cool trailer. With that like EDM club bass in the back. Is that the Ooh, some Japanese for Sakura? Oh, oh. Jesus. This is so cool! Holy moly! Oh, the backward shot. Yo, Chowan powerful. Look at the muscles, she's ripped. Oh, I like these reverse shots, honestly. Did they really destroy that... That car? No, that's so CGI, you can tell, okay. <laughs> no worries about the Mustang there. Did we just reverse the entire video? Is that what's happening? We might have. That's, that's kind of cool. 
Hello again. Dude, Sakura. She has that intensity in her eyes. Oh my god. Those like grouped up vocals. What a way to introduce your group, honestly. Yeah, that was... The Seraphim. Oh, that's so cool. Hello there, bandit. That was nice. That was honestly insane. That shot of Chewan, by the way. Also, this is kind of cool. This is like a new YouTube feature. If you hover, like you see, see here. Yeah. Uh, this is in German now because I have my YouTube in German. But this just says this is the most repeated part up until here. So what are people watching? Deserve. This is kind of cool. I see why people mostly watch this part. That part was just really sick. I don't know if that was actually the um, the, the the intro of the song itself. Let's just uh, give it a play on Spotify to confirm. Can we even hear it? No. Yeah, it sounds similar. Yeah, okay, it's that. Ooh, that is nice. I love that. Okay, let's hop on over to Fearless and Studio Tune Performance. Here we are, ready to roll. Be original, the Seraphim. My goodness, I adore the song. It is so catchy, it is so good. I can't get the chorus out of my mind. You go in front, this guy, right? Yeah. Okay. I feel like I'm getting better at, at least recognizing Yanjin. She looks so different in PUGs. These studio tune performances are always so good. Damn, look at Sakura! It is so catchy, I cannot. It's just such a vibe, this song. I'm fearless, Damn, Jawan. That drop though, holy moly. Covers as well, and the song is just such a masterpiece. Like, I'm not even kidding. It's building up that chorus, like, it's literally do doing what a pre chorus is supposed to do this well on another level. is crazy, it's building it up so well. It is so good. It is so good. That was a nice cut. Damn! Sakura is just, just... She doesn't have any mercy. Damn, Yanjin! He's crazy. I wonder what she's gonna do on, on produce. If she's this good, like, I'm at episode two currently, so I haven't seen much yet. <sighs> that was sick. These, these, uh, okay, visual attacks. These studio tune performances, I, I keep saying it, they are just this good. The, the quality of these is always this good. And this song. I, I feel like I keep repeating myself, and I probably am, but it is just such a banger. But right now, I'm really excited, actually, to get into the B-sides, because I heard a lot of good things about them. So, yeah. Um, let's go. We're starting out with Blue Flame. Oh. That bass guitar, dude. Oh, 
that bass guitar is fake, for sure. Kazuo's voice is nice. Woo! This is a bop. second part of the chorus a lot. The vocals just really shine on this part a lot. Yeah, but Kazuo's voice though, Nore can focus more on whose voice it is when they sing. Kazuo stands out for me. In the left ear, there's some backing vocals going on, some ad libs. It's kind of interesting that it was only in the left ear. Beat is really nice. She has a really nice high voice. Oh, okay. She has a really deep voice. She can re go really deep. And to those people who watch me for a long time know, I'm a sucker for deep voices. <laughs> say hand in hand with the title track but definitely from that groove that's there that's what um, the chorus of fearless has you know that bassy groove blue flame definitely really goes along with it sorry if i keep touching my eye. I have some, like something in my eye and it's annoying me anyway really like the song the bass is definitely thick on that their vocals they showed so many side of their vocals uh, sides of their vocals which i really really like as i said kazuo really stood out to me but also unche i liked her uh, vocal parts i think she didn't have too many but um the parts that she got i i really enjoyed so um let's keep on going let's check out the next track the next track is The Great Mermaid, which goes, I think, hand in hand with um, some of their teaser photos. I think they were kind of like mermaidy dressed. Let's hear it. Oh. That instrumental is definitely interesting, right from the get go. Oh, okay. I'm digging this. Ooh, that's an interesting effect on her voice right there. Ooh. Get it, Chewan. Yeah, that's what we're talking about with Unche. Oh. You hear those effects? Uh. Oh, okay. Throwing that out there. A little bit of swearing, never heard a track, you know? Put out what you need to put out. I mean, I get it, they're idols, I'm not supposed to swear, but... I like it when they do, I'm not gonna lie. Oh! Some vocalizations? I 
I like this song a lot. I like the song a lot. Oh, I gotta say, I'm falling for Kazuma, man. Whenever it's so hard, I'm like, damn, this is hard. effects are really cool they are used at the right spots not all the time which would be too much they're not even censoring it they're not doing the tomboy they're not even censoring it i love it quite frankly oh, what whoever made this instrumental my goodness This might be my favorite of the B-sides so far. I mean, we only heard two right now, but... And this is definitely a contender for that favorite. Ooh, nice outro as well. Yeah, oh, that song was powerful. That had some attitude with it. With that swearing. I like that, I like that. That instrumental was hard. I love that, like... Again, they love to play around with their basses. If it's a bass guitar or, like just a general bass right here i don't know how to describe that i'm not that good at english and or musical theory um but this just sounded hard you know it was punchy it was spacey it was nice i love that uh yeah with that though we only have one uh b-side left i think it was called sour grapes let's head on over sour grapes final b-side of this beautiful ep so far let's go Oh, it's almost already sounding like more of a slower song. Some vocals to shine here, maybe. Yeah, definitely on the slower side of things. Has such a sweet voice, honestly, it's so so lovely. Yup. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I feel the bias forming. <laughs> Just from the voice again. What's that supposed to say? Hurt or yeah, you heard me in like hearing. That made more sense, I think, right? I might be wrong though. Ooh. Yeah. Challenge sounds really sweet on this track. I, she has, she has a tone like honey on this. It's so, so nice. comment on it <laughs> I was just enjoying and she, she also going a little bit lower here right she, sound, she, she was singing a lot higher in other tracks yeah you hurt me okay it sounds more like yeah you hurt me like you hurt me do it Beautiful track, honestly. This chorus. Again, 
really punchy bass in the instrumental that just keeps on pushing the track, which is nice. Ooh, get it, show one. say sour grapes are really nice i love sour grapes that's it what a cool track to the end like it's not really that that usual i feel like whenever um minis or eps come out um there's usually that one like really really slow song on there that's like ballady it's a ballad straight up um i i think this said this had like with the bass this also had some oomph to it it wasn't it wasn't like hard hitting your usual hard hitting song it was definitely on the slower side of things um, but it also wasn't your classical ballad that you get i really enjoyed this gotta say that intro that intro that we did um was really cool i like when groups kind of introduce themselves like that i mean fearless speaks for itself <laughs> go watch my initial reaction if you haven't yet <laughs> but i feel like my my favorite is definitely the great mermaid with um Blue Flame being close second and then Sour Grapes, but all of these tracks were really nice. I really enjoyed them. And gotta say, like, I've the, just from her voice alone, Kazuha stands out to me like crazy. I really enjoy her singing and I'm looking forward to more in the future. And yeah, what's left to say? I'm gonna go watch episode three uh, of Produce 48 right now, which is gonna be fun. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. And there is already a lot of content out on the channel, so if you want some reactions, uh, head on over there and I'm sure you'll find something that uh, suits your liking. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this, guys. Hopefully, everyone stay safe. I'm sending you a lot of love and see all you beautiful people in the next video. Bye, guys.